So, um, I had a lot of building difficulties, not a lot, but a few. So one of them was to get the gears to work properly and to put them in place and so that they would touch. And also um, to get enough power to fire the ping pong balls because um, my original idea didn't work so I had to change it. And, wait, wait, does the time ping pong? Can I just... Uh, oh, you got to play here? Yeah. It's going up. Well, to finish this, you want me to just try this for you? Okay. Which side do you want this one? Um, I just want to stop. Okay. Okay, so um, another building difficulty was to build the ramp at the right angle so that it wasn't too steep or too level so that the balls could actually um, roll to the catapult because it was um, the balls go through go to the catapult through um, gravity and uh, I made some mistakes too and I thought that the mechanism that pokes the ball has more power and yeah it didn't have so, and I also used the wrong size Lego pieces that let the ping pong balls um, fall into the shooting mechanism. So this part right here, the thing that regulates the flow of the ping pong balls. And um, that's my final product, as you can see right there. And it can hold up to four ping pong balls at a time. That's another picture that's in front of you with my robot. And so, yeah, that's my shooter mechanism and that's my um, loading system. Okay. So if I had more time, I would adjust the angle of the shooting mechanism so that it's like adjustable and I would want to randomize it too. And I would also want to um, try different spinning effects on each um, ping pong ball. So, thank you. Oh, yeah. Do you want to catch it? Just hit me in the head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> so